All right, in this problem, we're going to solve the equation x equals the square root of the quantity x plus 5 minus 3. Our first step is to isolate the square root on one side of the equation. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides. On the left hand side, I'm going to get x plus 3. And then on the right hand side, 3 minus 3 is 0, so we're just left with the square root of x plus 5. Our next step is to get rid of the square root. So to do that, we're going to square both sides. So I'm going to square x plus 3, and I'm going to square the square root of x plus 5. Now when you square a square root, it just uh, undoes the square root, so we're left with x plus 5 on the right. Now on the left, we have x plus 3 times x plus 3. So I can do that with the Punnett square here. x plus 3 times x plus 3. So if we do x times x, we get x squared. x times 3 is 3x. x times 3 is also 3x. And then 3 times 3 is 9. We can combine 3x and 3x to get 6x. So on the left-hand side, we get x squared plus 6x plus 9. And then that's going to equal x plus 5. Now, I want to get one side equal to uh, 0. So I'm going to subtract x, and I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. Okay, so on the right-hand side, x minus x is 0, and 5 minus 5 is 0, so we're left with 0. On the left-hand side, we have x squared plus 6x minus x, which is 5x, plus 9 minus 5, which is 4. Okay, this is factorable, so we can factor this um, when a equals 1 by listing out the factors of 4 that add to 5. So those are 1 and 4. So I can write this in factored form as x plus 1 times x plus 4, and that equals 0. I'm going to use the zero product property to set each of these factors equal to 0. So x plus 1 equals 0. We'll subtract 1 from both sides and get one of our potential solutions is x equals negative 1. We'll also set x plus 4 equal to 0. And subtract 4 from both sides to get our other potential solution as x equals negative 4. 